we will discuss one of the earthworm species that is quite unique and interesting, namely the hammerhead worm or Malleus albus. Come on, let's learn more about these interesting facts about hammerhead worms. The hammerhead worm is a type of earthworm that belongs to the Megascolesidae family. These worms are often found in farms, gardens, and environments that are rich in organic matter such as compost and garbage. The hammerhead worm has a long, slender body, and can grow to about 30 centimeters or more. Hammerhead worms are distributed throughout the world, especially in areas with warm and humid climates. However, the exact origin of the hammerhead worm is not known with certainty because hammerhead worm species have developed and spread across various regions for millions of years. Several known species of hammerhead worms originate from South America, such as Argentina, Brazil, and Chile, while other species originate from Asian regions, such as India, China, and Japan. In addition, several species of hammerhead worms are also found in Europe and Africa. Due to its ability to adapt to various environmental conditions, the hammerhead worm has spread widely throughout the world and is one of the most common types of earthworms found in various regions. I saw several articles and videos on this topic, they made the title as if this animal is very dangerous and will paralyze anything that touches it, they also show photos with high contrast, made me think, I have to watch my surroundings when I'm in the forest or a damp place. However, after searching for more information, I found several reasons why hammerhead worms are considered dangerous. First, in general, Hammerhead worms are not considered a species that is harmful to humans, but hammerhead worms are very dangerous for other animals, such as snails. This is because hammerhead worms are natural predators of snails. Apart from snails, this worm also preys on other small animals such as earthworms and insect larvae. Second, the hammerhead worm is known as a species that can damage the soil structure. This is because hammerhead worms have the ability to burrow very large and deep in the earth, and in the process, they lift and move large amounts of soil to the surface. As a result, this raised ground surface can form mounds above ground level, while cavities underground can result in the collapse of the surrounding soil. While hammerhead worms can bring soil benefits such as increased soil drainage and aeration, their destructive impact can be problematic. If there are too many hammerhead worm populations in an area, it can cause soil erosion and reduce soil quality, so this can threaten the sustainability of agriculture and the ecosystem in that area. Thirdly, like other earthworms, the hammerhead worm can harbor microorganisms such as bacteria or viruses that can cause disease in humans if they are directly exposed to the worm or accidentally ingest the eggs. You also need to remember that the risk of being infected with worms can be reduced by simple ways such as washing your hands regularly after gardening or contact with soil, and ensuring that the food and drink you consume is clean and safe. Lastly. The hammerhead worm is considered an invasive threat because of its ability to spread rapidly and adapt to a variety of different environmental conditions. This species can be found in many areas of the world, from the tropics to the Arctic, and can survive in a wide variety of soil types and different environmental conditions. In addition, hammerhead worms have the ability to reproduce themselves quickly and in large numbers. Under the right environmental conditions, a single hammerhead worm can produce up to a thousand eggs at a time, and these eggs can hatch in a short time and quickly grow into adult worms ready to reproduce. This high adaptability and reproduction ability can cause the hammerhead worm population to increase very quickly and take over the area it occupies. This can threaten the survival of other species that live in the same area, and can cause significant ecosystem changes. Although hammerhead worms are not considered to be directly dangerous, it is still necessary to be aware of the potential impact they have on the ecosystem and environment. Therefore, it is necessary to carry out good management and preservation to maintain the balance of the environment and hammerhead worm populations.
These are very interesting facts about hammerhead worms. Hammerhead worms are a type of earthworm that feed on soil and organic matter contained in it, such as leaves, plant roots and animal remains. After hammerhead worms feed on the soil and organic matter, they process the leftovers in their bodies using a complex digestive system. In the body, the leftovers will be broken down into smaller nutrients that can be absorbed by the worm's body. After the digestion process is complete, the remains of food that cannot be digested and no longer have nutritional value will be excreted from the worm's body. However, because hammerhead worms do not have a clear anus, they excrete the leftovers through their mouths. The process of removing food debris through the mouth is known as oral defecation or endorachy. This is one of the unique adaptations of the hammerhead worm to be able to survive in environments that have uncertain conditions, such as lack of nutrients or low humidity. Although it looks strange and unusual, this method allows hammerhead worms to efficiently process their food and maintain adequate levels of nutrients in their bodies. Hammerhead worms have the ability called memory sharing. This ability occurs when hammerhead worms physically interact with each other's bodies and result in a transfer of information called ribonucleic transfer. Transfer occurs when hammerhead worms join large groups and interact with each other, such as when they move together in aggregation. In this process, hammerhead worms produce RNA that contains information about environmental conditions, such as temperature, humidity, and food availability. RNA is then produced by the hammerhead worm's body and spread to other hammerhead worm's bodies through physical contact. In the study, it was found that hammerhead worms that had shared memory, had a better ability to survive and adapt in extreme environmental conditions compared to individuals who were not involved in such interactions. While the hammerhead worms, memory sharing, ability is fascinating, much remains unknown about how this actually happens and how the information transferred from one hammerhead worm to another can be used to enhance their survival in harsh environmental conditions and extreme. However, this discovery may provide invaluable insight into how organisms can adapt and survive in difficult and unstable environmental conditions. The hammerhead worm is known to have a tendency to cannibalism, which means it eats fellow hammerhead worms of the same species. This cannibalistic behavior occurs when hammerhead worms are in environmental conditions that do not allow them to get enough food, so they eat each other to survive. In addition, cannibalistic behavior can also occur when the hammerhead worm population is too dense in one area, so that competition for food becomes very high. Adult hammerhead worms are usually more aggressive and tend to eat smaller or growing hammerhead worms. While the cannibalistic behavior of the hammerhead worm may seem distasteful, in some cases it can help maintain the balance of the hammerworm population in an area. When the hammerhead worm population becomes too large, cannibalism can help control the population and prevent damage to the ecosystem. However, cannibalistic behavior can also be a threat to the survival of the hammerhead worm if it occurs too frequently and is not controlled. This can reduce the number of hammerhead worm populations and affect the ecosystem in which they live. Therefore, it is important to maintain the balance of the hammerhead worm population by maintaining food availability and a healthy living environment. Hammerhead worms have a high ability to regenerate, meaning they can restore lost or damaged body parts to be whole again. This ability occurs because the hammerhead worm has the ability to multiply body cells quickly, and also has the ability to rebuild damaged or lost body tissue. For example, if a hammerhead worm's tail is cut off by a predator or an accident, it can easily grow back. A new body part will form from the cells that are still alive near the injured area, and then grow into a complete structure. The hammerhead worm's ability to regenerate is essential for their survival, especially in harsh and dangerous environments. With this ability, they can overcome injury and damage to their bodies and maintain vital functions such as breathing, digestion and movement. In addition, the ability of the hammerhead worm to regenerate is also an object of interesting scientific research, 
because it can provide insight into how body regeneration can occur in other organisms. Many studies have been conducted to study the regenerative abilities of the hammerhead worm and how this can be applied to humans to repair damaged tissues or organs in the human body. So, if you find a hammerworm and cut it to pieces, you haven't just killed or destroyed them. So this is a discussion of interesting facts about hammerhead worms. Although often considered a pest or soil destroyer, the hammerhead worm has an important role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem and soil health. In addition, high regeneration ability and memory sharing ability are unique traits of this species. However, it still needs to be considered to maintain the population of hammerhead worms so as not to disturb the balance of the environment and the surrounding ecosystem. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.